this is Heather Lynn, your real estate guide. When I tour homes with my clients, one of the most common questions that came up is, can I take down some walls to create an open concept kitchen? Or taking down a wall to create a bigger family room area? So when we take down walls, one of the most critical questions we wanna ask is whether this wall is low bearing. A low bearing wall is a structural wall that holds the house together. Uh, how do we know whether a wall is low bearing? Well, we got to look at how the ceiling joist is run. So this, this is a ceiling joist. These beams here are ceiling joists and they run uh, in this particular house uh, vertically from the front of the house to the rear of the house. And the wall that is aligned with the ceiling joist, this wall over here, we could tell. Uh, the ceiling joist is over here, and this is the studs that kind of align with the ceiling joist. This whole wall is called a low bearing wall. So to take the low bearing wall down, we got to do more structural reinforcement. Uh, in, it, it is possible to take the low bearing wall down, but a horizontal beam needs to be in place and additional structural reinforcement need to happen in uh, order before we take this wall down uh, to uh, make to kind of ensure the home is not structurally compromised. Now let's look at an example of a non low bearing wall. This wall over here, for example, is 90 degrees from the ceiling joist. So this is the ceiling joist over here, and the studs runs 90 degrees um, against the ceiling joist so this is a non low bearing wall and this wall can be removed without compromising the structure of the home so that's how we know whether a wall is low bearing or non low bearing when you buy your home and do your home renovation these are important aspects to consider so i am actually doing a home remodeling at this property there will be more home renovation videos coming from me so stay tuned Bye now.